There are a string of great military leaders who fought during the Second World War, but some that you might not know about are some of the Polish generals who fought right up at the front from the first days of the war. And among the most remarkable, Stanisław Maciek. Maciek was a veteran of the First World War and quickly joined the newly formed Polish army. In 1938, he took command of the Polish 10th Motorized Cavalry Brigade. It was with them that Maciek went into battle on the 1st of September 1939. Despite the overwhelming German superiority in numbers and equipment, the men under his command fought a brilliant defense. They slowed the German Blitzkrieg to a slow, bloody crawl. After the enemy occupation of Poland was completed, Maciek made his way to France. Here, he and his men fought valiantly during the Battle of France. Later still, he eventually found his way to the UK. It was in the UK that Maciek was instrumental in the formation of the 1st Polish Armoured Division. In July 1944, a few weeks after the D-Day landings, they were finally deployed. Maciek's men played an integral role in the Battle of Normandy, scoring some stunning victories for the Allies. After Normandy, Maciek's 1st Armoured Division drove across France into Belgium and Netherlands. They were the ones who liberated the Dutch city of Breda, a place that he would go on to have a lifetime relationship. They continued their assault into Germany, where Maciek accepted the surrender of Wilhelmshaven. After the war, like so many of his countrymen, Maciek was unable to return to Poland due to the hostile communist government. He stayed in the UK, but when he died, he was laid to rest alongside his comrades in the Polish military cemetery at Breda. <laughs>